or results from a new malaria vaccine trial developed by scientists from Oxford University are promising. About 94% of the world's annual 200 million cases of malaria are from the continent. More than 600,000 people die from the disease every year. Most are children. Researchers hope that the R21 could drastically reduce the burden of the disease in Africa. Sam Bradpiece spoke to one of the scientists involved in developing the vaccine. Results from the recent trial of the R21 vaccine showed that it could offer up to 80% protection for children against malaria. The implications of this are potentially massive for the African continent, the world's worst hit continent when it comes to the disease. Last year, the WHO greenlit the world's very first malaria vaccine, but this new one could be a complete game changer and not just because it's much more effective. The data we've got today is really important because it shows that R21 has high efficacy against malaria infection and that that efficacy is maintained through the first two years of follow-up, so through two malaria seasons. The other thing that's really important about R21 is that we've secured a manufacturing agreement with the Serum Institute of India to make sure that we will produce the hundreds of millions of doses of this vaccine that are going to be needed to give all of the children in Africa who need a dose enough. The vaccine works by targeting the parasites that cause malaria before they get into the human liver, making us seriously ill. A larger trial involving 48,000 uh, patients across four different African countries is expected to be completed by the end of this year. Professor Ewer and her team hope that this vaccine, this new vaccine, can be rolled out across the continent and beyond as soon as 2023.